Hey guys, so I'm just going live super quick before jumping into uh, the rest of the day for my mastermind with Alex J. Moscow. So, there's, this is where I am. Um, what I've discovered uh, is that when you surround yourself with a community of really awesome, nice, caring, loving people, <laughs> Hey Jeff, um, something went down earlier today that I really like had no idea what was going on until I saw and I got tons of messages saying, oh, do you hear this? Do you hear that? And they were like, do you know all this drama is going on and all this tea is being spilled? And I took a moment and I looked at it and um, my response was, oh, interesting. <laughs> Hey Andrea. So my response was, "Oh, this is this, that's interesting that this is going on." Uh, and then I felt my heart um, racing a little, and and but then my heart calmed down, and I was like, "You know what? Like, whatever happens, I'm gonna be okay." Um, because I have a loving community who do support me and there are people who do see value in what I'm trying to do and so what I felt was a lot of gratefulness for being able to feel that way I think it, I really appreciate being able to feel calm amidst a storm being able to feel appreciation being able to feel um, forgiveness and and happiness amidst controversy and I think uh, yeah it's from my earlier post where I was like hey guys just want to clear the air <laughs> um, but yeah what I'm you know when your response to controversy or peace or slander is hey you know that person might be having a bad day or week or month or year and um and your heart is just filled with compassion and forgiveness and anything that is the tea that's spilled will to dry up and things are okay again um when that's the response that you have uh, i just take a moment to really appreciate that that i have the ability to do that for myself and a lot of a lot of times when there is anger and there is any kind of like holding on to resentment or any kind of hatred it's just a disservice for yourself really it's like hurting yourself and i'm at a place where i love myself too much to engage in acts that you know just engage with the drama engage with the whatever it is <laughs> you know I make a quick post and, and then people went crazy commenting underneath it and telling me oh Kim all this shit is happening and I'm just at a meeting just at a conference enjoying the contents and um, the information that's being shared which is like super powerful valuable information for my life and instead of choosing to engage with that back and forth I just let it go um, and I choose the path of forgiveness and I choose the path of calm and I think that's that's a big gift you give to yourself uh, <laughs> so anyways <laughs> hey Grant hey John hey John thanks for coming to my defense your comments were really colorful yeah hey Phil so actually I gotta like just a flow of people messaging me saying oh Kim you know I heard all this stuff but are you okay like I support you and having that kind of support from from people that I didn't even know was following me tell me hey you know I support you it's gonna be okay that's super appreciated so thank you guys thank you for supporting not tearing down other people <laughs> And thank you for just recognizing that I think like a lot of people out there, I'm just 
doing my best and you know helping out as much as I can as much as I can see myself helping my community and living my best life and I think if you genuinely do that people will see that and they're not gonna hate on you too much who knows I'm not big enough to have a bunch of haters <laughs> hey. That's, that's the energy we have here. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so that's the energy that I'm with here. Like, people are like, ah, we want to change the world. And if you're surrounded by that, how can you, how can you let hatred affect you? How can you let negative energy or negative thoughts creep into your life? You know? So when it, when when that drama happened all i can think of is like oh you know there can only be forgiveness and there can only be calm and even though i got a little riled up momentarily i'm like i love myself too much love myself too much hey matt hey lana hey desmond hey randy to put myself through any kind of like slanderous pain <laughs> okay guys i'm gonna go and go back to my mastermind this is what the mastermind is about i'm learning to be a better coach a better teacher learning to you know if you're gonna be a coach you have to go and get coached too so that's what i'm doing I'm putting in my time with a bunch of cool ass people. Hey Michael. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Um, alright guys, bye. Have a great day and thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much. Super appreciate it. <laughs> bye. Today we just decided we were gonna go camping, so we um. It was a Kim decision. It was a Kim decision, is what Jonathan said. He was like, "Oh, we gotta plan it. We gotta make sure we got stuff." And I'm like, "Why don't we just go to the store and buy some wood, and then, and then we'll just go." <laughs> and I feel like I don't know. It's impulsive, but I feel like sometimes some of my decisions are like that in order to actually do stuff. Because if not, what are we going to do? Just work some more today and or like watch Netflix. But instead, we're out here enjoying this view because we just go to the store, buy some firewood, buy some chocolate, buy some... Yes. S'mores, what? buy some graham crackers. Uh, just someone. And then, so this is what we get to enjoy because you don't have to be all together or prepared to get out there. Actually, I forgot most of my climbing clips, so I can't even. <laughs> so it sucks. Oh, check this out. Jonathan is climbing up there. Hey, Timothy. How are you? Up there. How beautiful it is. This is the view that we get to enjoy because we're like, who cares? Why do you need to be prepared? And I think for the most part, if you behave like that, it's not, well, not for the most part, but sometimes that's kind of reckless. <laughs> However, I feel like it serves me well because then I get to experience these situations. Okay, rope. And you don't have to be all freaking prepared. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, I'm gonna show you the view. There's Jonathan up there. Say hi, Jonathan. <laughs> 
Hey Joshua. Yeah. Look at this. We drove an hour and 40 minutes so we could enjoy this view. And also I bought I bought some marshmallows and we're going to make s'mores. And instead of being at home and making this week an entire work week include some camping and s'mores Oop. what oh, okay I'll join you okay let's join let's join him Don't forget our stuff over there. Uh, actually, let me do this. Get a picture at the top? Jonathan, I'm taking you with me. I think you need a GoPro. <laughs> no, it's okay. Hey, hey Peter. Wave. All right. Almost up. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean if we go over there, I'm sure there's some over there. Let's go this way. Okay. Whoop. So, yes, I think if I listen to the voice, it's like, oh man, I gotta be prepared to go camping versus let's just freaking go to the store and get some firewood and get it going. Babe. We don't have to be all prepared. You gotta jump. <laughs> jump? What do you mean? No. Jump over the crack. Oh. Ooh. This is a crack to jump. Can we hold it? Yeah. Like literally nothing. Because you didn't jump. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're at home and you're doing nothing, or yeah. you're you're thinking, let's make this week a seven-day work week. <laughs> I encourage you to buy some firewood, buy some chocolate, buy some marshmallows, Ooh. and make some s'mores, and go camping. <laughs> Hey Patsy, hey Bart. Also, here's another thing. If you guys want to make monthly recurring passive income with your own software, then PM me, reach out to me. I have a very special gift for you. Um, also, <coughs> I know that I'm, I haven't been going live that much lately, but I'm trying to be more consistent showing you guys what goes on in my world a little bit more um, and what goes on in my world is I help 
entrepreneurs make reoccurring income with their own Chrome extension business. And if you're interested in that, reach out to me. Well, not in this second while I'm jumping rocks, but you know what I mean. Are you recording me? <laughs> hey, Joshua, <laughs> you raise your hand. <laughs> Wait, did you jump over this? Yeah, I jumped over it. No way. I can't jump. No, that's scary to me. Hey Joshua, so if that's something that you're interested in, reach out to me and Let let's jump. have a chat. I don't want to jump this. This is this is what Jonathan told me to jump. I jumped it. Because you're fearless with this gap and my legs are not so long. I'll probably go around that way. <laughs> oh. Hey Scott, how are you doing? Look. Look at the view. We should probably start heading back pretty soon. Yeah. Alright, well. Call him, call him back at the campsite. I'll go live at the campfire. <laughs> yeah. Um, Joshua, if you want to make monthly recurring income with your own Chrome extension business, reach out to me <laughs> and let's make it happen. All right. What are you doing on a Sunday morning? Happy Sunday morning. Hey, Vaughn. So I think for a while I was like working super hard and I still am but I kind of neglected what makes me happy which is going out and experiencing climbing. <laughs> hey James. This is the view down. <laughs> hey, John. Yeah, it's very pretty day today, very pretty day in the morning, Sunday, Sunday fun day, this is what you do for fun, if you have, actually, I think whether or not you have passive income and live a passive income lifestyle, you should still get out, <laughs> you should still get out and do stuff. What are you guys doing on this Sunday? Let me show you the view again. <laughs> Other climbers are like, what you doing up there? <laughs> Taking your time, eh? <laughs> Taking my sweet time, showing you guys the view. <laughs> yes, yes, super fun. Slept. Didn't sleep that well because um, I didn't.
didn't zip up my sleeping bag and so I was super cold. Not fun. And then I found <laughs> and then I zipped it up in the morning and so I got warmer. Hey Doug! What are you guys doing this beautiful Sunday? Just hanging out. This is the view from my end. Just want to give you guys the view so you can see. Hey Chad. Yeah, it looks like fun. Other climbers are like, what's that crazy person doing up there so long? Because it doesn't take this long to be up here to clean. <laughs> Cleaning means, let me show you guys. Cleaning means getting rid of this and taking it back so you don't leave any debris. Uh, not debris, you don't leave your equipment here. And they have these chains here that stay here permanently. And this is my safety. This is what's holding me on the rock right now. This is what's holding me in right now. I have one line. They recommend having two. But I trust this because there's a lock right here. Chad. All right. I think that is all. One more pan. One more pan. And then I'm going to clean and go down. One more pan. There is Jonathan. Oh. <laughs> let me let me know you guys should I get a haircut? This is how long my hair is. Should I have a haircut? Say yes if you think I should have a haircut and no if you don't think I should get a haircut because my hair is too long and it's getting in the way. It's getting in the way. Yes to haircut or no to no haircut. <laughs> okay, no one says anything so. <laughs> Literally, no one's saying you like, oh yes. Too far from the ground, you see that? Not too far from the ground. Not too far from the ground. There's Jonathan. There's Jonathan. Jonathan, say hi. <laughs> There's Jonathan. You know, normally I, I would be up here this long, but no one's hogging for this spot right now. No one's hogging for this route. Oh, everyone's gonna, oh, actually, people are gonna start climbing, so I'm gonna go down. Have a fantastic Sunday. Oh yeah, if you like that video, then you will love all the resources that I have over at Kim C. Dang. Dot com that is k m c d a n g dot com there you will find all my courses my extensions all the offers that um, i have as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started